What's up? This is Steve Aoki, and this is the Aoki Files with the amazing Azari in third. This is the Miami edition because we're in motherfucking Miami, and we've been partying. I'm all sweaty and gross. These guys look beautiful, um, so I just like to hang out with them so I can look beautiful too. But um, yeah, we're here because we want to talk about the remix album that came out recently, and also the Lost in Time EP that's coming out very soon. So. We'll just go straight into it. The remix album is, like I was saying in another interview, is fucking epic. I mean, it's like the, the best names with the best fucking sounds. Incredible remixes with Tiga, Jamie Jones, our department. I mean, I like Guy Gerber. I mean, it's a million. Let's so uh, let's uh, let's talk about that. Like, how like how long did it take? How'd you get the guys to remix well, it? Well, we basically, we just kind of compiled a lot of our favorite acts and DJs and remixers and just slowly crafted over the years as we would as we would put out a song. We would be very particular with who we wanted to work with at the time. And, and we were fortunate to work with some great people that have done some great work. And it's kind of, they're feeling us, we're feeling them. And it's kind of family, you know? The next release coming out is the Lost in Time EP. I, let's talk about that one. I mean, there's two remixes on there as well. Yeah, there's the VCO and... The Yuri uh, Hokonen. That's right, yeah. So, you know, we're two, two really cool acts. You know, Yuri's been around for a long time and VCO's kind of fresh and hot. So it's a great combination, I think. And Lost in Time is just one of those tracks that is... Kind of, it's kind of a deep house, just chill, classic sounding house track I guess you could say that brings in a bit of that tribal feel and try to keep it universal keep it universal man universal sex appeal you know that's a good name for a band universal sex appeal in the 80s for sure <laughs> emu all the way man we uh we've been talking about doing some funky crazy like a massive jam band yeah, just some some crazy shit we might we might have to come out with it with universal sex appeal you heard it first right here Rick James is coming back to life there's the hologram. Rick James yeah, we got is coming some back. New productions. We're already talking about it right here. All that cocaine has kept him alive down there, <laughs> you know, and it's just he's coming back. It's starting to regenerate. What about touring? Like, you guys uh, have any tour dates you want to talk about? Any? any um... Yeah, we're, we're just keeping busy. You know, we've we've got yeah, we've got you know the Demp. Now is it called movement? It was a Demp. It's movement, right? The Movement Festival, which we'd never played, we were looking forward to that. Grew up just yeah, a couple yeah. hours from Detroit myself, and I like, you know, used to rave there all the time. Yeah, it'd be great. Then we're doing a K7 uh, DJ compilation, and we're gonna we're gonna get back to our DJ roots for a bit. You know, we've been touring as a band for like three years straight. Want to kind of like remind people that we're also DJs. Lastly, uh, how do people get a hold of you on the interweb? Wow. Okay. Basically, yeah, you know, Grinder and Facebook <laughs> and the, the usual kind of places that they find us lurking. Yeah. No, no, no. You can find us online at ZarianThird.com. You can find us on Twitter. So this is the Aoki Files with Azarian Third. Dimock baby in Miami.